ओम शांति थर्टींथ मार्च ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वेनस्डे द ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम साकार मुरली मे यू बी अ मास्टर बिस्ट ओवर ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एंड गिव हैप्पीनेस टू एवरी सोल बाय बीइंग एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस May you be a master bestower of happiness and give happiness to every soul by being an embodiment of happiness. The children who constantly perform righteous actions, yathartha karma, receive happiness and power as the instant fruit of those actions. their hearts always remain happy for they cannot experience even the slightest wave of sorrow even in their thoughts to be confluent sage at brahmin means not to have any name or dress of sorrow because you are the children of the bestower of happiness children of such bestower of happiness are themselves master bestowers of happiness they would always give happiness to every soul they would never cause sorrow or take sorrow so those who perform righteous actions they receive happiness and power as the instant fruit of those actions and they remain ever happy and they cannot experience any wave of sorrow even in thought in fact to become brahmin means that you become the children of bestower of happiness or the master bestower of happiness and they would give happiness to every soul and they would never cause sorrow or take sorrow so what are righteous actions by saying those who perform righteous actions they receive happiness and power in fact it means those who are doing unrighteous action would be in sorrow and weak and if we feel weakness within probably we are performing unrighteous actions if there is a slightest wave of sorrow within probably we are doing some wrong things if that joy that bliss that happiness is not there probably we have gone somewhere amiss in last sunday's murli the second part baba said even if the ant goes in the ears of elephant the elephant becomes unconscious so you are the children who always stay in unhappy in super sensuous bliss ruhani mauj in that spiritual happiness you cannot get affected by any things any small thing of this world so unrighteous actions evil actions wrong actions are leading to sorrow and weakness and on the other side if there is a sorrow if there is suffering if there is low mood if there is a loss of enthusiasm if you feel lonely and don't feel like to do anything if the spirits have sunken in the abysmal depth of unhappiness probably some actions have gone wrong so that is why it is very important to understand which action is righteous and which action is unrighteous there are two words in hindi one is karma and another is kriya what is the difference one is karma 
another is kriya any difference okay so that is karma or kriya the way of doing something is kriya you can turn more on this we will discuss this at some other time it's a big topic the difference between karma and kriya so baba is telling to do righteous actions so what are righteous actions first of all let us understand what are unrighteous actions what are unrighteous actions actions which are not right hmm? these words righteous unrighteous they have come for the first time in bible if you look at the english literature such words righteous actions those who are workers of iniquity those who are unrighteous shall not come to my father you see christ saying this words many times so even if you peep into the english literature even before shakespeare and all these words are already existing so what are unrighteous actions hmm unrighteous actions that will lead to sorrow what are those yes hmm lying but the most important lying is self lying it is known as hypocrisy it is known as self deception lying to others others can see but lying to oneself self lying self deception hypocrisy saying something but not doing it to be to own self be true to one's own self be true there's a poem like that by shakespeare you have to be true to yourself first of all so when you lie to yourself it is known as self lying self deception this is one of the thing that leads to unrighteous actions what else unrighteous actions yes because you all do righteous actions so you have no idea about unrighteous actions huh? those actions which are against shrimat whenever you break shrimat knowingly willingly sometimes unknowingly but whenever you would break shrimat that would be an unrighteous action what else Hmm? Hurting, people. hurting people giving sorrow to them hurting their feelings hurting their tender hearts creating wounds by our bitter words by scratching them so these all actions are unrighteous what else hurting them by bitter words to belittle someone to insult someone to plan against someone to plot against someone to cast aspersions on somebody to malign somebody to spread wrong news about somebody these are all defamations these are all unrighteous actions what else hmm okay to have some fixed ideas about somebody and then to act accordingly okay models hmm okay so actions done in selfishness or body consciousness anything which is based on jealousy somebody is going ahead of me i am jealous i cannot tolerate i am i become envious 
So, whatever actions that will come out from this would be unrighteous. What else? In today's Sakar Murli Baba said they get unhappy with the Brahmini who is there, the center's teacher, and they give up the gyan. That is also an unrighteous action. If you don't like somebody, go sit, listen Murli and come back. Don't talk with her. That has come in today's Murli. <laughs> but go. So, righteous actions have got many components. First of all, righteous actions mean it should be according to Srimat. If your actions are according to Srimat, they are righteous. If you are breaking Srimat at any point of time, they are unrighteous. Second, actions which are done in soul consciousness are righteous actions. In today's Murli also Baba said, there are children who do churning of knowledge and then give speeches. They are the one who think of themselves as soul and then they explain. So soul consciousness. Third, supreme soul consciousness, that is God consciousness. That means remembrance of Baba. Whatever you do in Baba's remembrance, that will be righteous. And whenever you will forget Baba, that will be unrighteous. So when you are in God consciousness, when you are in Supreme Soul consciousness, automatically whatever you are doing, you cannot do vikarma, you cannot do sinful actions. And then, selfless, whatever you do, in the spirit of selflessness, that is righteous actions. And whenever you are selfish, that is unrighteous action. So selflessness. And then, hmm? surrender. Whenever you do anything in the spirit of surrender, that I have done it, now I surrender unto Baba. Even while doing it, there is a spirit of surrender within. So that action is righteous action. Then, detached observership. Whatever you do in as a Sakshi, in detached observer, that is a very elevated action, a righteous actions. And then, detached. Whenever you do and you are detached from it, there are two words. One is Anasakta, another is Sakshi. Anasakta means you are detached. You are detached from the fruit of the action, detached from the action itself. And Sakshi means you are a mute spectator. Sakshi means you are a detached observer. Sakshi means you are an audience. You are sitting, you are the viewer. You sit and you see the things. When you are not interfering anything. So that time, these are righteous actions. When you do anything in the stage of Trikal Darshi, that is righteous actions. Thinking of all the three aspects of time, not going going somewhere and doing impulsively something without thinking and then repenting, I should not have done, this should not have happened, why I have done it, oh, this has happened. Why you did it? Because at the time of doing, it was the passion. Something overtook me. I was overwhelmed and overpowered by some very fierce, strong emotion. And then I acted impulsively. Impulsive means without thinking. That's why they say, think before you think. So any action which is done in the spirit of Trikal Darshi, before doing anything, just wait and see what will happen. When you are just about to commit some sin, just about to break some Srimad, when you are so tempted, when I want to see something, go somewhere where you should not or meet something, somebody whom you should not just wait for a moment it is a moment of temptation it's an emergency situation if you can control that just one moment you will be saved otherwise you are gone so Trikal Tarshi means think of the result what the Brahmin family will say. 
what if what i am doing now is known to the entire world what if the person whom i respect the most if he gets to know about it what he will think this is a very strong thought the one whom i respect the most if the whole brahmin family gets to know about it that i am doing like this what they will think about what will happen to my image of a yogi which i have created over the years so trikal darshi <coughs> and then whenever you do anything in tireless spirit athak you don't get tired in today's burli also baba said there are children <coughs> who say that we have got tired because they were body conscious so that's why they cannot remain introverted so take some time whenever possible to become introverted antarmukhi wherever needed possible so whenever you do anything in the spirit of tirelessness you are working and working and without getting tired tireless means you are already soul conscious that's why you are tireless you are soul conscious that's why you are tireless the moment you are body conscious you become tired so tirelessness not getting fatigued not getting exhausted in exhaustible spirits whenever you do anything with attention full attention you are doing righteous actions you do unrighteous action only when you become inattentive inadvertent little inadvertency little carelessness little laziness and you commit some crime sin some crime inadvertent in attentiveness so attentiveness means whenever you do anything with attention automatically that is righteous actions anything else hmm divine virtues okay so these are 10 but if you take even one out of these the other nine will come the other nine will follow because each one of them is so powerful just remain soul conscious and all other things will come just be god conscious and all other things will come just be trikal darshi and all other things will come just follow shrimat and all other things will come just remain detached and all other things will come just remain detached, detached observer and all other things will come so these are so interconnected things and to remember all of these things throughout the day is to remain alert watchful wakeful because all wrong actions happen the moment we become unconscious we forget knowledge for some time and that is the moment of great temptation and that is the moment of blunder to remain awake all the time smriti to remain watchful keep watch a close eye on yourself what happens what i do rather than seeing others what others are doing let we forget what others are doing let them do what they want it is none of my business my business is with myself my business is with my own spirit i have so much work to be done within me so much so many things are yet undone i have to first give all my time to myself and then i can think of others so baba is saying righteous actions when you do what happens children who perform righteous action receive happiness you must have seen that when you do some very selfless action you feel so happy just help somebody just somebody has come has shown even if you show somebody some way that also you time you feel happy somebody is come in and asking where it is you so you tell you you tell him that you go this way and you will find it suppose a person is staying in one place for last 10 years 
and a new person comes and he asks him, do you know this place? He says, no, I am sorry, I don't know. So, what to say? He will not have that much happiness. But when you know everything, a guide, guide means who knows everything. So, he can show way to others, path to others. So, that's why you receive happiness and you also receive power. As the instant fruit of this action, the hearts always remain happy, for they cannot experience even the slightest way of sorrow or even in their thoughts or even in their dreams. So to be confluent such a Brahmin means not to have any name or trace of sorrow, because you are the children of the bestower of happiness. Children of such a bestower of happiness are themselves master bestower of happiness. They would rather give happiness to every soul, they would never take sorrow. That is one more thing which is taught only in this university, not to take sorrow. There is no spiritual institution where this lesson is taught. Everybody teaches, don't give sorrow to others, don't hurt others. But here, we are taught, don't take sorrow, don't hurt yourself, don't absorb sorrow, don't victimize yourself, don't play the victim card. This is a very beautiful teaching. The first ever teacher who has focused on self-victimization. You victimize yourself, you kill yourself, kill joy, your own sorrow, your own happiness you kill. So, not to take sorrow. So this is, so churn more on this today. Om Shanti.